I look like a crazy person right now. I just got back from the gym because I needed to blow off some steam. Fair warning, I'm about to start screaming and spitting. This is probably the most emotion you will ever see from me. I'm about to get animated like a Pixar character, red in the face with steam coming out of my ears, because I am infuriated. I am livid. I've made a couple videos bringing you up to speed on a situation I've been dealing with with U.S. immigration. In a nutshell, our esports team, Moist Esports, has one of the best Apex rosters in the world right now. We're second place in NA, and we're in a really good position to win the Major. But, the Major is happening on U.S. soil, and the red-blooded patriots at U.S. immigration refuse to let our team come in. Our team is Australian. So, we were initially declined and had to pivot, get them to Canada so they could compete in NA this split. And we resubmitted, and our resubmission has just been declined again. For legitimately no real reason, because the fucking glue-eating, crack-smoking, coke-snorting, lobotomite morons at U.S. Immigration just don't want them in the country for whatever reason they're drumming up here. We have been working with the best lawyers in the industry, the best lawyers on this fucking planet that specialize in this field, and none of them can believe that we've been declined again. They've never had these issues before, so they're as stunned as we are. We even have one of the highest level executives at EA going to bat for us with U.S. immigration, lobbying for us to try and get our team in here because our team is very important to the eSport because we are so highly ranked. And even with the goddamn Avengers on our side, U.S. immigration slams the door in our face and turns us away like it's a lacrosse house party in college. They're Australian gamers! We're not trying to sneak in fucking Viltramite aliens! What is the issue? Gad Zooks, I would hate to meet our U.S. immigration agent in real life. It'd be like meeting Voldemort. It'd be like meeting, it'd be meeting Scrooge. Like an absolute joyless fucking husk of a, like a zombie. It can't even be a real soul. I, there's no way there's a human being that's handling our case. It's, it's not possible. Because there is no reason we would keep being declined. They're not even giving us reasons that make any sense at all. Not to us, not to the lawyers, not to anybody. Nobody. And no other esports team has had this problem. Every other org that has international players got in lickety split. They, they, they fucking speed ran it. Meanwhile, we can't. We literally can't. I'm convinced that if Jesus Christ resurrected right now, U.S. immigration would turn him away. He wouldn't be allowed in here. We'd never see him. Now, let me slow down real quick because maybe... Maybe you guys aren't understanding why this is such a big deal. One, our team is one of the best in the world. And this major is huge. It's massive. And obviously, we're very passionate about this game and this eSport. So they need to get into the country to play in this major because it's an in-person land. They can't compete from Canada. It's happening in America, the home of the fucking cheeseburger and the Budweiser. It's happening here. So they need to be here physically to compete in it. No holograms, no force ghosts, no AI duplicate replicants, nothing. It's got to be them, flesh and blood, which is off the table now. I, I think a lot of people had a bit of confusion with the last video I made about this because the Apex Boys, our team, has been in America before. We've even made videos together with them at our warehouse. But there's a difference because they were only here for like two weeks. I think it was even less than two weeks. And then the Major was overseas. So they weren't here for a long time. This time around, we needed a different process because they were going to play the whole split in NA. So it needed to go through an entirely different procedure to allow them to stay here for that period. And since we keep getting declined, they are now no longer allowed to just come here temporarily. All of that's halted because they're under our Moist Esports blanket. Now they can't come here just for like that two weeks or anything. It's totally different. It's all changed, which is why we had to work with all, so many lawyers to try and get this process moving. And we just kept getting declined. So now they can't come into the country for this major. They couldn't even show up on the day to compete. Plus, they wouldn't want to do that anyway because they want time to practice, obviously. So that leaves us with only one fucking option left. And that's to cut our team. We have to release... One of the best teams in the entire Apex circuit. Because that's the only way they're going to be allowed in the country. They can come here as long as they're not being represented by us. As long as they are not represented by any org right now, they can come here and compete. So that's our only option, because we obviously want the best for these guys. We want them to shine at the Major. So in order to do that, we have to let them go. It's like that fucking scene in Pokemon where Ash sets down the Pikachu and runs away crying. That's us! That is literally what we have to do with our team right now. We have to cut them so that way they can compete at the major. Because we're out of time, we can't resubmit again because this process is abominably fucking slow. 
weeks just to get two sentences back from the U.S. immigration dinosaurs, the fucking fossils that are just bones and dust in those chairs at the agency there. Like, we can't do this again because we don't have time. The major's right around the corner. So, we are officially releasing the Moist Apex Squad. Unfortunately, we got the bad ending to this fucking playthrough here. And it's no fault of our own, by the way. We did everything by the books. We worked with other orgs, too. And so many different lawyers that specialize in this. And we did everything right. And still got slapped by U.S. immigration raid bosses. Ridiculous. So, I actually cooked up a theory. One that a couple of lawyers actually agreed with me on as the most likely culprit for why we kept getting declined and are still currently rejected. Our name. I hypothesized this in the last video I made, but I wasn't entirely subscribing to that belief until now. The name Moist Esports may have had a role in us being rejected. May be the only reason we are rejected. At U.S. Immigration, it all falls onto your particular agent. It is entirely their discretion whether or not you are allowed entry into the country with whatever you're submitting and whatever you're doing. You have an individual agent that handles your case. It is highly possible, and according to some lawyers, not unusual for them to decline things based on very trivial reasoning. And they never conveyed that the name was an issue to us, by the way. That would be something that's so petty that they probably would never put it in writing because it's fucking embarrassing and shameful. But... It is possible that the name Moist is the reason why. Because Moist is a word that is a little yucky to people, makes them feel a little icky. So whoever was handling our case maybe just really didn't like that word, didn't take us seriously and said, nope, we won't be dealing with them. Fuck them. And I think that's the most likely, po the most likely possible explanation for this at the moment. Because there's nothing else. There is actually nothing else that could have possibly gone awry in this process on our end. I hope the ghoulish heathen in charge of our case is proud of themselves for this. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just yanking your chain. The only thing I hope for the urinal cake that handled this case is that they get fired. That is the only, that is the only solace I will find here is if I learn that at some point whoever took this case is let go from U.S. immigration because the country would be much better for it. I think they are so bad at their job that it borders on being criminal. Like, they should be charged with treason for how poorly they've handled this case. Six months. Six months of work. Well, a little less than six months. And never once did they give us a real reason for why we were declined. The reasons they gave us were nonsensical. And when we were inquired for more information to rectify those problems, we submitted above and beyond the requirements and still got declined numerous times. I think this whole experience should be pretty eye-opening to a lot of people out there. To the blatant corruption in U.S. immigration. Like, this is so bad that it's almost comical. Like, if it wasn't so incredibly detrimental to our organization, I would probably find it laughable. Like, that's how awful, horrible it is, and how bad of a state U.S. immigration is in. Like, just take a, take a step back and really analyze this. The best lawyers in the world that specialize in this field in particular were unsuccessful in getting squeaky clean Australian gamers into the country, even when the game they're competing in has the highest level executives saying to U.S. immigration, no, they need to be here, they should be here. All of these extremely powerful parts working together to try and get them into the country, and they couldn't do it multiple times. Now imagine that for someone normal. Just normal, average Joes trying to get into the country and they have to deal with U.S. immigration. What fucking hope is there? What chance do you have? That's going to be like a 20-year process bare minimum. That's inexcusably awful. What a broken fucking machine. The ice cream machines at McDonald's work better than the U.S. immigration process. It's so fucking stupid. It, like, it, it, I'm actually hitting a full-blown porky pig scat man right now. I'm getting so heated. Like, it's an insult to the word stupid. Moonfall, Madam Web, The Room, that's stupid. This, it's on a whole new level. Uh, it's in the, uh, a different dimension, the fucking sixth dimension of stupidity. It's a whole new ball game. Like, it, like the fucking poop farter that handled our case. It's giving me a headache. I'm going. I'm going. I'm actually going caveman braid. Uh, I'm becoming Cro Magnon man right now. Just call them a fart pooper or whatever. Like, it's just, I'm running out of words in the English language to express the frustration at how incompetent. This, is, this, this whole process has been on their end. So yeah, anyway. We had to release our Apex team. 
They will still be competing at the major, God willing, unless the immigration agent himself turns up and fucking puts the kibosh on it himself, forms like a brick wall of meat and won't let them pass, physically imposing himself on them. But anything shy of that, the boys will be on American soil competing at the major, but they are no longer our team. We had to cut them in order for that to happen. We will, of course, still be cheering for them. We, of course, still want them to win because they deserve it. I think they are the best team in Apex, and I'm still very excited to watch them play, but it really fucking hurts that it's not moist esports that they're competing under anymore. Thanks, U.S. Immigration. Fuck you. Yep, that's really about it. See ya.